Hey, this is Archie from Dividing the Element. I'm recording this from my house. I've been here for two months, uh, doing absolutely nothing, you know. Well, I do a little bit here and there online, but that's, you know, that's, it's a shadow of what you used to be and what we spent so many years and so much money trying to build, you know. Once all this is done, we're gonna have to start again, pretty much. So we're not allowed to work as musicians, obviously. No gatherings of more than 50 people. And that's that's been in effect since March. Um, so pretty much no work. Um, I teach sometimes online. And that's, that's pretty much all that keeps me going. And, you know, while I'm home, I just practice as much as I can, play with the kids, you know, daddy stuff, <laughs> which isn't all bad, obviously, but, you know, not every day, man. But anyway, that's, that's life right now in Zimbabwe. I mean, things were tough even before COVID-19. So uh, you can only imagine how bad things are now with, with, with all this. But anyway, what can we do? Hopefully after all this, maybe, maybe actually it might work out to our advantage after lockdown because, you know, obviously everyone really wants to get back to whatever normal was for them. So, and for some people that's watching shows or going to shows and going to gigs and things. So it might, it might actually work out, but until then, and that's, that's only if it works that way. Until then, uh, you know, having to find other ways of making a living and uh, trying to stay sane as much as possible. I think probably the, the biggest lesson here is whatever you think you know, you don't know. You know somebody out there knows what's, what exactly is happening where all this came from, who caused it, what caused it, everything, you know, we, we're just left with speculation, but somebody knows, you know, and we knew this to be true all along, politicians and things, you know, all those people, they know what's happening and they don't, they don't tell us what's happening, they don't tell us the truth ever, you know, well, unless it, it, it benefits them in some way, but, you know, they generally don't and now more than ever they are not telling us anything you know they tell us what they think we should know and never the truth you know so you know whatever you think you know about the world and how it works chances are you're wrong somebody else knows what's happening <laughs> it's messed up man yeah but anyway Probably after all this, I think it's time to really go off grid. And you know, right now I stay at a block of flats, so I can't farm or garden or anything like that, grow anything for myself. So after this, I think I'm gonna have to get out of here, run away from the concrete, you know, and build something sustainable because right now with all this crap you know it's messed up you have to buy food you know everything you need now is a problem you know you you have to really think okay where am i gonna get this where am i gonna get that and all that which isn't cool so after all this is done i know what i'm doing is i'm i'm going off grid i'm gonna grow some stuff and, you know, I'm going to build a nice little system that's going to feed me and my family. <laughs> so I'm done with all this, man. Anyway, good luck to you all. And we'll see you on the other side if we make it through. Cheers. Hi, I'm Chris from Dividing the Element. And uh, for those of you who don't know who we are, we are a metal band from Harare, Zimbabwe. So... If you're looking at a world map, you would find that in Southern Africa. So 
I've been in lockdown now for two months. Um, maybe a little over that now. And uh, I've been passing the time by reading um, a lot. <laughs> Mostly books on psychology and philosophy. Um, but I've also been doing an online course through Harvard um, on web development. By the way, if you don't know this already, it's definitely worth checking out. Um, Harvard are actually offering free online courses for the lockdown. So uh, I'm not advertising for them. Um, just seeing as we're on the subject and if I can help somebody out, well then, you know. So we actually released a single not so long ago on the 15th of May. Um, Pakaipa is the name of the song. And it's actually in Shona, which is uh, this country's mother tongue. Um, and Pakaipa means, literally it means it's bad. Um, and it was quite interesting leading up to the release of the song. Um, more accurately challenging, <laughs> well at least for me anyway, just because um, I had to occupy, well I occupied quite a few roles in that. Um, so I am the primary songwriter slash composer for this band. But with that song, I also produced it and mixed it and mastered it. Now, the, the first two are not so unfamiliar for me, but mastering, that's unfamiliar territory for me. Um, so I actually have the equivalent of an undergraduate degree in sound engineering, but um, I obtained that about 16 years ago, that qualification. So, I mean, I was a bit rusty to say the least. So, you know, whatever I couldn't remember, I had to re relearn and whatever I, I, you know, didn't know, I had to learn. So anyway, I'm actually grateful for the experience because it was an opportunity actually um, to just further, better equip myself within my skill set, if you know what I mean. So, coronavirus. <laughs> That's what everybody's talking about. Um, listen, I think we are still in the beginning stages of this. I don't like that, but watching the news, there's little evidence to support that we are actually winning the battle here on a global scale. So I think we're gonna, we're gonna undergo some growing pains trying to return to the society that we had you know before coronavirus i hope i'm wrong but you know anyway listen that said uh, i i hope everyone is just taking the precautions and washing their hands and social distancing you know i guess that's it Peace out.